One of Earth's closest neighbors, Mars, is about to have a very narrow escape from a comet the size of a small mountain. The comet only comes around every one or more million years. I Skyped with Tracy Watson, a special correspondent for USA Today, to talk about what's going on. She explained to me just how close this comet is going to come to Mars. This comet is going to brush by Mars at a distance of less than 90,000 miles, which sounds like a lot, but in astronomical terms, that's just a whisker. It's going to be very, very close. In space, things are whizzing past other things all the time. So I asked her, why is this a big deal? This object, this comet, is considerably bigger than the Chelyabinsk meteor that did such devastation in Russia a year ago. So it's a pretty significant thing, and it's going to come close enough to have some impacts on Mars, even if it doesn't hit Mars directly. One of the most incredible things is that researchers are going to be able to see and study the comet. She explained to me a bit about that. If you're lucky enough to live in South Africa or Australia or maybe even South America, you might be able to see it with binoculars. You can't see it with the naked eye. But we will be able to see it with a flotilla of satellites revolving around Mars and maybe even with the rovers that are coasting on Mars right now. They're all going to train their cameras on it. Uh, other telescopes close to Earth will also be looking. Lots and lots of different scientific instruments will, will record data, and that's our best shot at getting a good look at what happened. I asked her, is this comet a threat to Earth? Thankfully, no. This comet will not hit the Earth. It won't hit Mars, although there was a fear early on that it would. And even if it did hit Mars, there would be no impact on the Earth. But scientists do say this should serve as a wake-up call that these planetary objects, these solar system objects, do get come close to and occasionally hit the inner planets pretty often. And so we need to know how to deal with one if ever one comes close to colliding with us. For more news on this, stick with us at usatoday.com.